Now, when we talk about top fuel, we always talk about big numbers, how fast they go, the acceleration they've got. There's no use having all this acceleration, all this power, if you can't put it to the ground. This is our rear wing. Now, this thing is roughly 155 wide, about five foot two. It produces around two and a half tons of downforce uh, at over 300 miles an hour. And we try and do it that you produce downfall and not so much drag. So with these big side pods here, which are roughly about um, 55 deep, what the idea is is to keep the air trapped underneath the wing here to make it more efficient and keep more downforce onto it. Here we have the different elements. This part here is your main element, which we tend to run around zero degrees, maybe one degree on certain tracks, but you try and keep it as flat as possible. And then you can adjust for more aerodynamic uh, efficiency by with this rear element here, which we can put up, put down. As an additional benefit, what we run is what's called a gurney lip on here. That you could run a slightly bigger gurney lip if you wanted to really fine tune it, or a slightly smaller one if you think it's carrying too much drag. We don't carry that sort of uh, data equipment on the car to measure it, so that would have to be done in a wind tunnel. You just get a feel for it if the car's moving around at the top end, or so you try and put a bit more downforce down, or you just grin and bear it and try and keep it in the lane. Uh, here, on here, we also have these cables. These cables are called breakaway cables. These go through the lines to the parachutes, but if something happens, like if uh, rear wing breaks or um, it blows a rear slick and takes off the rear wing or breaks a piece off, this will then, it's looped through the parachute cable and it, it pulls the parachute and the car can come to a stop pretty safely. Right, so we've talked about the rear wing and how much downforce it produces and why it's on there and it's for traction purposes. Obviously, if you've got a big rear wing on the rear, you've got to have a reasonable size wing on the front so it keeps the front end down. This is approximately 160 wide. Um, if you notice now, it's a very pretty narrow cord compared to the rear wing here, uh, also with a gurney lip on here. This is primarily, it produces roughly about 350 kilos of downforce at around 300 miles per hour. So it is there, it doesn't, it just aids you uh, when with your steering. This is the later versions, the earlier versions, if you can see here on this, one of my alcohol cars here, it used to be a two-piece wing. Um, and it was, the cars used to move around a little bit, and especially when you've got bigger wings on the back. So you need something on the front to keep the front tires planted, so you have got more steering. But apart from that, it's um, just pretty functional when you're trying to reduce the drag, but still produce downforce.